Okay, let's do one more example where we can put together a lot of things we've learned about if statements. The file is nflscores.slxx. And from Pro Football Reference, which is a great site if you're a pro football fan, I downloaded this information for the 2014 NFL season, the scores of every game. Now, unfortunately, they put this in the following format. The winning team goes first, then the losing team, and then the points for the winner and points for the loser. And now an at means basically the home team lost, okay? So Jacksonville, Philadelphia at Indianapolis, the home team lost, which in Indianapolis they lost 30 to 27. Here's an example. Basically, the Redskins were home and they won 41 to 10. Okay, so if there's no at, then call it the winning team is the home team, like Seattle beat Green Bay. If there's an at in this column, then the losing team is the home team, and column K is the home team. So we want to find the home team and the away team. Then we want to find the home points and the away points, and then the amount by which the home team won. And if error will also be helpful to us. So how do we find the home team? Well, look what happens. If there's, so we say if there's an at in the column J in that row, then we'll get the home team from column K. Okay, otherwise we'll get the home team from column I. So I could say if this has an at, then column K is the home team, the road team one. Otherwise, it's column I. So I can copy that down. So Seattle was the home team. Okay, now an easy trick here. So if this, if the home team equals that, then the away team must be the other team. Otherwise, it must be this, the team in column I. Just got to make sure I get one team to be home and one away, and the other is right. One's right. So I know I got the home team right. Because here, like when there's an at, the losing team is the home team. And then I made sure that the home the away team is always different than the numbers of the home team here, okay, is the winning team. Then I pick the losing team, okay. So if N7 equals I7, the winning team was home. Okay, then the away team must be the other the losing team. Otherwise, I pull the winning team. Okay, so that should work. Okay, so notice in every row I've got different uh, team for the winner and loser. Now to get the home points. Okay, so basically the way that would work. If there's an at, the loser is the home team, and then uh, and then the home points would come from the winning column. So I think that got that one. Sorry. So if there's an at, the loser is, yeah, the loser is the home team, and if the loser is the home team, then column M would be what we. So, in other words, if there's an at sign, like right here, the losing team was the home team. So I should pick stuff from column N. M. So let's see if this works. Okay. So if there's an at, okay, again, that means that the home team was the losing team. So I take the losing points. Otherwise, I would take the winning points. So in this case, the home team scored 36, okay? And the next game, Atlanta was the home team. They scored 37. Okay, but here's the case, okay? The Chiefs only scored 10. They lost. Okay. Now, how can I get the away points? Well, I'd say if the home points equals the losing column, then I must get for the away team the winning points. Otherwise, I would get the losing points. So let's see if we do that right. Okay, so I got to sit. The point is the home points and away points have to be different. So let's see if that works. Okay. So for example, here, uh, Chicago Bears were the home team. They lost to Buffalo. So in that case, the home team lost. They got less points than the opponent. So whenever there's an at, the home team should have less points than the opponent. Okay. Now the home margin, 
Now, let's suppose I just do an if statement. And take, sorry, I just take the home points minus the away points. There'll be a problem with this, you'll see. And this is very common. So double click and copy it down. See, it put in these stupid rows. I could sort and get rid of them. But see, these rows, when I do column P minus column Q, I get a value error because basically there are no numbers in column P and Q. So what I could do to fix that, I'll do Control Z to undo what I did. Control Z play. I can say, if error, our old friend, take home points minus away points, otherwise just put a blank. Okay, so there the home team won by 20. So whenever there's an at, the home team lost. You'll see there's a negative there. And in these rows where there was a no data, it puts a blank. And that's exactly what we need. So you can see your knowledge of the if, the if statement and the if error lets us solve a fairly complicated problem. And you never know what your data is going to look like. Usually it doesn't look the way you want, and you have to transform it. You'll see in a later video why I need the data to look this way. I need to know how many points the home team scored and the away team scored. I want to figure out how good each team is. And we'll get to that a lot later in our videos. Okay. So our next set of videos, I think, will start on data tables, goal seek, and scenario manager, which are powerful analytic tools. In it. Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews. Uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here, and with that one, you can see it's 4 point something, or maybe even 5, I don't think it's 5, yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.